Welcome to another cardio workout. Uh, this week we're gonna add some uh, jumping over pylons and and uh, do uh, some punch and kick combos. So um, for the pylons, you're gonna need uh, four pylons. You're gonna be jumping over top of them, so hopefully they're not too tall. So I'm gonna be jumping over my smaller kettlebells there. Um, and you're just gonna create a little box about two feet apart at most. It doesn't need to be uh, very uh, far uh, spaced. So let's um, get into our warm up once you've got your uh, pylons in position there. So, as always, let's start with our leg swings. And switch sides. And lateral leg swings next. And switch sides. Get our hips nice and loose. And let's move into squats. So just getting some movement. Get our legs warmed up. And next we're gonna do lunges. So step back and step forward. Step back, step forward. Back, forward, back, forward. Let's switch sides, it's the same thing. Go at your own pace. Try and find what works for you and try and stay balanced. And let's do some arm swings. So over and under. A couple breaths, maybe the lunges and squats. Got your heart rate going a little bit. That's what they're intended to do. So we can breathe a little bit, open up our chest, work our shoulders, get ready for our punch combos. And let's finish with arm swing or uh, circles. So palms down, slowly build up to full rotation, whatever that may be for you. And palms up, go in reverse, same thing. Great job, everyone. All right, we're gonna get right into it. So first exercise is jab, foot jab. So again, position here, so jab, then foot jab. Jab, foot jab. Jab, foot jab. Jab, foot jab. Jab, foot jab. Switch sides. So jab, foot jab. Jab, foot jab. Jab, foot jab. One, two. One, two. One, two, good job. Next, we're gonna do in and out. So we're gonna picture this box and we're gonna go forward with two feet, then back with two feet. And we're just gonna do that really quickly. So it looks like this. So just forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. <laughs> Try and keep a little bend through your hips, a little bend through your knees, pump with your arms. Should be burning a little bit through the quads and calves. I know mine are. And we're trying to go nice and quick. Keep our heads up if you can. Kind of run into my pylons a couple times already. And relax. Whew. And just to get ready for the rest of our jumping exercises, 
we're gonna do mogul jumps. So for these, you're just going side to side like this, pretending you're skiing. I'm just gonna stay in my box here, just so you can see what I'm working with. So notice how this part of my torso up really doesn't move. So it's staying straight. It's just really my legs swiveling out my hips. And relax. Moving into round two. So jab, foot jab. Ready and go. Jab, foot jab. Jab, foot jab. One, two. Switch sides. And relax. In and outs, round two. So really try and move <clears throat> quickly with your feet, okay? So we can start it slow, build the rhythm. But then when you're ready, you gotta pick up the pace. Try and keep your head up. If you have to look down at first, that's okay. But gradually raise your head until you're looking straight forward. And the last piece of the puzzle is really pumping your arms so that I control your pace. The faster you can pump your arms, the faster your legs move. And relax. Breathe. And mogul hops. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. If I stay in the box, I won't move forwards. I won't move backwards, because I'll hit my pylons. And relax. Last round. <clears throat> Shake up the legs quickly. Get ready. And jab, foot jab. One, two. 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 Switch sides. One, two. One. And relax. Hand in and out. <clears throat> Ready and go. So start slow and then build up and try and go faster and faster. I know this one's tough. I definitely feel that, especially on round three, I can tell I can't go as fast. Try and work it. We got 10 seconds left. And relax. And our last random mogul hops or jumps. Ready and go. Let's keep it going. Find your pace. And relax. Quick drink of water before we get into round two. Or sorry, group two. So we're gonna go jab, hook, then hook kick. So jab, hook, hook kick. Jab, hook, hook, kick. Jab, hook, hook, kick. Let's try the other side. So jab, hook, 
hook kick, jab hook, hook kick, jab hook, hook kick, jab hook, hook kick, and relax. I have some work to do on that one. <clears throat> Next one's lateral in and outs. So standing at the side of our box, we're gonna go two feet in, two feet back out. So two feet in, two feet out, two feet in, two feet out. So again, some lateral movement in here. And just like with the other ones, when you get good, try and increase your pace. And relax. And the last one in group two, forward pylon jump. So we're gonna jump over top of our pylon. So jump, turn around, jump back, and jump back for me. So I am stick with my bigger pylon because I got a bulkhead there. And I don't want to bonk my head off of it. It's jumping over top. Landing softly. And one more. And relax. Good job, everyone. All right, let's go to round two of group two. So we got job, hook, hook, kick. So job, hook, hook, kick. Job, hook, hook, kick. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Switching sides. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that's good for me. All right, lateral in and out. Ready and go. Use your hands to kind of get yourself moving from side to side a little bit quicker. Helps balance too. You see me extend my arms. And it just helps me push from side to side and relax. <clears throat> Forward pylon jumps. I use this corner this time. And jump over top, turn around, jump over top. Repeat. So just forces us to get a bit of height. If you don't feel comfortable with this, take it away from the pylon. And just picture an imaginary pylon instead. And relax. Good job, everyone. All right. We got round three of group two, almost halfway there. So, jab, hook, hook kick. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Switching sides. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Three. One, two three, one, two, three, and relax. Last round of the laterals, in and out. Ready and go. Try and keep your head up when you can. Work on your footwork and start pumping the arms once you feel comfortable to get a bit more speed going. And relax. And last round of our forward pylon jumps. 
Ready and go. So notice if you're kind of starting to cheat and going around with your feet over to the pylon, try and go over top when we get tired or if you're not comfortable, that's a common thing, common correction that we have to make. And relax, quick drink, then on to round three. So we're gonna go jab, cross, then side kick. So jab, cross, turn, side kick. Jab, cross, turn, side kick. Jab, cross, turn, side kick. One, two, three. Let's switch sides. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And relax. Next one's a box circle run. So we're gonna go around one pylon, come forward, go around the next, and just work our way around the box. So around to the next pylon, around, around, around. So we're just doing a little bit of a weave around the pylons. We've done something similar with a bigger box, but we're just tightening it up so there's lots of changes of direction here. A lot of little footwork steps, more so than speed. You're gonna screw it up from time to time and relax. I'm sure I did at least once there. Okay, next one, lateral uh, pylon jumps. So we're gonna pick a pylon, jump over top of it to the side, land, when you're ready, jump back. So over top, land, then back. And relax. That's group three. So on to round two. So jab, cross, side kick. 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 Switch sides. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Three, one, two, three. And relax. Box circle runs coming up next. So all this quick little footwork, lots of little steps. Ready and go. Find what works for you. Get used to the footwork. Get used to the change of direction. Try and keep your head up when you're comfortable and relax. Lateral jumps. Couple deep breaths and go. So pause in between your jumps, they should be dynamic. So try not to do them when you're super tired. If you need to pause like this for a couple seconds in between each one, that's fine. As I get more and more tired, I'm definitely gonna pause more in between them as well. And one more. Great job, everyone. All right, we're going into round three, group three. Ready and go. Jog cross, side kick. One, two, three. One, two, three. Switch sides.
fan relapse. Circle runs. Round three. And go. This time, we're going to switch directions halfway. Just to complicate it a bit more. And switch directions. And relax. I kicked my pile on there. And lateral jumps. Ready and go. Concentrate. I'll try not to talk too much so you can focus on the exercise. You know what to do at this point. And relax. Quick drink before we go into our final group. All right, so we're gonna go jab, uppercut, then heel hook kick. So jab, uppercut, come around with your back leg, and then sweep. Let's try that on the opposite side. So jab, uppercut, come around, sweep. Jab, uppercut, around, sweep. Woo, I'm done there. I'm gonna have to work on my balance a bit. Okay, next one's a circle run with an in and out. So what we're gonna do is we'll start with the circle run. So circle run, then in and out. Circle run, in and out. Circle run, in and out. Circle run, in and out. So we're just gonna continue that pattern. So it's a little awkward, just a lot of footwork and relax. And our last plyometric jumping exercise, we're gonna diagonal jump over a pylon. So I'm gonna start in the back left corner of this pylon, jump to the front right. Then I'm gonna jump back like that. And we're just gonna do some diagonal jumping like that. Trying to keep my hips forward the whole time. It's just jumping on an angle. And relax. Good job, everyone. Let's go into round two. See if I can do better on these jab uppercuts. So jab uppercut. Jab, uppercut, heel hook. Jab, uppercut, heel hook. Jab, uppercut, heel hook. And let's switch sides. So, jab, uppercut, heel hook. Jab, uppercut, heel hook. One, two, three. One, two, three. And relax. Whew, that's really hard on my hip flexors or just my hip mobility in general. Okay, let's try these box circle runs with the in and outs again. So round the pylon, then side to side, around the pylon, front to back, around the pylon, and relax. Diagonal jumps, so I went bottom left to top right. This time I'm gonna go top, bottom right to top left. And go.
and relax. Great job, everyone. Last round. All right. It's jab, uppercut, heel hook. Jab, uppercut, heel hook. Jab, uppercut, heel hook. Jab, uppercut, heel hook. Switch sides. And relax. I'm gonna get a quick drink in between. And then we got the circle runs with the in and outs. So circle run, forward back. Circle run, side to side. Circle run, forward back. Circle run, side to side. Circle run. Front to back. Just continue this on. We're almost there. Keep it up. And relax. Good job, everyone. All right, so we got the diagonal jumps. One more round. So we're going to do bottom left to top right for half and then switch for the second half. Remember, you don't have to use the pylons if you don't feel comfortable or if you're getting tired, it's totally fine. So let's switch. Last one. Great job. Let's move right into our cool down. So starting with our quad stretch, find something to balance with if you need it. Grab your foot, stand nice and tall. Switch sides. Hamstring stretch next, toe up, hinge forward, <clears throat> big deep breaths, switch sides, And groin stretch, a so nice wide stance, hinge to one side, keep your chest up, keep the other leg straight, feel the stretch through your groin. Switch sides. Tricep stretch next, arm overhead, grab the elbow, pull back, feel the stretch through the back of your arm. Switch sides. And let's finish with the chest stretch. So hand at shoulder height to chest height in that range. Take it away. Thumb should be pointing to the ceiling. And let's switch sides. Oh, and I missed the glute stretch, so let's finish with that one. So cross your ankle over top of your knee. Find something to balance if you need it. You should feel the stretch in your hip. And let's switch sides.
And that's it. <clears throat> Thanks for joining. Um, hope you got a good sweat in. I know I did. I'm drenched. And uh, I'll see you next time.